What's the word, y'all? It's your boy J Sacks, and I'm back again with another 3D tutorial. You feel what I'm saying? Today I'm about to be telling y'all how to just take your stuff straight from AE and go into Blender. This is this should be a fast one. You feel what I'm saying? So all you need to do is take yourself to these links down below and download the required things. I'm gonna show you how to use it. And yeah, let's get right. So before we even do anything, let me just show you how to get this stuff. So go to the link below, which is this GitHub. It should bring you here, right? And when it brings you here, it looks confusing, but just hit code. You hit code, it's gonna download this. All right, so once you have that, uh, you just wanna extract it to its own folder. So just right click. And if you have WinRAR or 7-Zip, whichever one is good, you know, use that. And then you open up that folder. And inside that folder, it, cont it contains two files that you need. You need the PY, which is for Blender, and you need this JSON, which is for After Effects. So, all right, so once you get into Blender, it's fairly easy. All you gotta do is go to Edit, Preferences, and Install. And you wanna just copy, paste it, and then it'll take you right here, and then you just import it. Same thing for this. Go to File, Scripts, Install a script instead of running it, and you import this, the JSX file, and you should be good. So now, first thing you wanna do is you wanna track it. Hopefully I could get a good enough track because as you see, we got like some radio blurred, you know, stuff going on around here. Right click, track, track camera. All right, so once that finishes, um, now you just wanna, we got a lot of pointed, but once that finishes, let's just delete all of the points that go around him throughout this entire clip because you don't want to drag over any points that's moving, bro, for real. So just start deleting these one by one and it'll solve on its own. Hey, look, you see these points over here that's moving? We don't want none of that. All right, so once you get your track, let's just click around some of these points and then let's right click and let's set the ground plane and origin, origin, sorry. And now let's click and drag over some more of these points again. Right click and let's make a solid. So as you see, we got a solid there, but I'm gonna do this one more time just so I could get like a few more uh, solids in a few places. So I'm gonna highlight over here. I'm gonna highlight over here. I'm gonna highlight over here. I'm gonna right click and I'm just gonna create 36 new nulls, right? And you see, I got some nulls around the tree and stuff like that. Nulls around the plants, just in case I want to do some extra, some extra stuff. Now that you have that, you just want to highlight your footage and everything else that's in this composition, this entire thing. You want to come down to file scripts and you want to just uh, export composition data to JSON. This is the same thing that we installed earlier. So once you do that, let's just find that location where we want to save this. Yo, yo, right? And now let's uh, export this out. And when we export this, before we go to uh, Blender, let's just render out a PNG sequence real quick. So let's find somewhere free. Let's turn this on and let's just render this at, I'm gonna just keep this the same size. And we're gonna do a PNG sequence, RGB plus alpha and trillions of color. Um, now let's go and save this somewhere. That's the animation. Let's call this HDRI plus footage. Cause we're going to use this for two things. Yeah. Let's name it. Now render it. Now we wait. All right, so the wrong blender has opened, but it's all right. You feel what I'm saying? That's not really a big issue. You know why? Because I have it. So now um, you want to come up to file import and you want to do after effects composition data that converted the JSON, which is the same plugin. I mean, this is the PY file that we installed earlier. So we click this, John. We come to where we save our animation file, I mean, our JSON file, and we just punch in that directory. And we're in here. So now, if we come in here, we have our entire music video right here. You feel what I'm saying? We have our points. We have the tree. You see, it gives us some depth. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I like using them nulls. I'm telling y'all. 
don't sleep but look before you do anything yo my fault before you do anything you see these points and how they're not starting at zero you want to just hit g and x and just move them boys over one time now click background images add image open and then we will find our folder that's the animation and here we go right here 56 frames but it's gonna end at 57 trust so now 57 frames that's the last one so now we can set our duration usually you don't have to do this but this specific music video is shot in 1440 and 1080 so i have to change this Boom. So now our points are lined up. We're almost had a panic attack. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. And with this box, this is going to represent my floor. I can make this my shadow catcher. Let me turn up my background real quick. Feel me? Turn this background up. Okay, and let me show you how we get this thing lined up with our objects straight up. Let's uh click tab right and let's just hit shift s while this is highlighted but let's say yours isn't highlighted we just click one of the points and hit a and then shift s cursor to select it and now we come out of edit mode shift a and we can add a monkey head and scale this up and now we have a monkey head tracked into the scene so now what I'm going to do to show you guys how to get reflections and shadows, look, we're going to take this same one, right? I'm going to come back into my camera. I'm going to Alt D, duplicate it, G and Z. And now I'm going to hit Alt P and I'm going to clear parent and keep transform, right? So now with this same, um, uh, this new one, I'm going to bring it back down a little bit. Right, just because I know that this one is the shadow catcher. Also, you can come name it. If you press period on your numpad, you'll see it's track solid 1.001. We could just name this shadow catcher. I'll just abbreviate it as C. Right, and then we could scale this child up to be as big as the ground or as big as you know, the, the same size as where I, um the area of where our monkey head is going to be so if it's a little bit too far up we could just move this back or forward it's g and y and g and x but just make sure you're moving it along the grid and you're not messing up you know the actual uh, yeah it's not moving in, 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 in the actual render so now you can actually like let's rotate this and I think we'll be okay with this. So now how to get this as a shadow catcher is let's get some settings right, right? Before we do anything to this monkey head, I'm gonna just get some settings for y'all. We're gonna change this to cycles. Oh, we're gonna change that to cycles, device, GPU, and let's set these settings to 0 0.001. And you could change this to maybe 300 and have your max sample to 50 just for the sake of the tutorial and let's let's change this to 0 0.07 so i can get just so i can get a little bit of what i want in here feel me all right so now motion blur film transparency on and now let's go to performance and turn off the tiles so now we got that situated and here's how we can come and now let's come down to our color management and turn this all the way up to high contrast maybe very high contrast and now we can click save let me let's bring this somewhere we want this and uh, let's uh <coughs> let's get this into the render view so now as you can see we've got this little situation going on here with this little head press shift a and you grab a sun you know you really won't have to do too much you can move the sun by pressing G and R, you can rotate where you want that shadow to play. And now we can do things like add different lights. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we could get rid of this little thing you see right here by just click Shadow Catcher and come to Visibility. And then just turn on Shadow Catcher. Boom. So now you got some reflections. Now you have a shadow on the grass. All right, so let's say you, you feel like this is just a little too dark. You can use uh, other planes as lights. So for example, we can come right here, click your monkey. You can shift and right click to change where you want your cursor to be. And you can shift A and add like a, another 
be playing. Rotate it and move it along here and let's just scale it up. Also, if you want this sun to play only with the sun's eye and this note down here, you can just have the sun highlighted, right? And you can come to shading, light linking, add in the light and then you can highlight the monkey and the floor. Like the sun again, with still this stuff highlighted. You do that by holding shift and, st and still clicking the sun. And you could drag these two objects in, boom, right? So uh, now it's not really playing with, the sun is not really reflecting off this plane over here. You get what I'm saying? This thing right here, we can hit this, come to the shading and let's add an image texture. And this image texture is going to be the video. So you hit control T, you should have no Wrangler on. And when you hit control T, you're going to move image from color into color under emission. And then you're going to folder. Let's go get our footage. Boom. So now we're getting some colors like that. Let's turn this up to one. Oh yeah. Show me we're getting some color out of that. This right here. And we can just do things like we go to the visibility and we can go to ray visibility and we could just click camera and boom, it's not in the shot anymore. So now we can add a couple of these. So you can Alt D. That out the way. And we can up the emission. Just to get that color in there. You feel what I'm saying? And, and now we got this monkey head inside of this scene. You feel me? With a couple lights, a shadow, and things like that. You feel me? I just really wanted to show you all the basics on how to do this. You feel me? And since we didn't do too much on animation, I'm going to show you all how to actually composite this into your clip. You feel me? So let me come down and show you all my settings real quick. If you go to this uh, output tab, you can go to open layer EXR. Um, change this, <clears throat> change this to W A W D W A A lossy, right? And, and then you can come here and pick where you want this to be saved, pick where you want this to be saved and come down and we're going to choose a couple of passes. The most important passes you need are the combine, you need the mist. And this is for quick, you know, if you really want to be quick, you use the volume. If you have volume, emission ambient occlusion shadow catcher and maybe a noise oh yeah i get the z as well so yeah i'm gonna grab the volume let me grab the volume and we should be good with that you feel what i'm saying so is there anything i'm missing no and all other animation you can figure out how to do on your own you feel what i'm saying i'm just showing you how the basics let's make sure that this is a transparent background Let's get rid of this image and let's hide this stuff from the viewport into the 3D camera tracker. Come to where the nose are and let's hide all of these nose. All right, so let's hit save and then we just want to control F12. And, and now your sun time and everything is over here uh, rendering. I'll be back when this is finished. All right, so once you guys are back up in uh, After Effects, you feel what I'm saying? You guys can delete these track nodes, but you know, if you smart, you will keep them. You can do things like attract freaking fire to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know, you know. But anyway, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna delete the track nodes. I'm gonna delete everything. I don't wanna confuse you guys. So I'm gonna delete all this stuff, right? And we're just gonna hit file import and let's get this same thing that we had all right so look as you see we have these exr files let's just click one and let's just bring import the rest in, just like that before we do anything what's the it's 24 fps let's right click let's interpret the footage main 24 and then we boom place that bad boy right there and as you see we got a black screen but here's how we beat that we just use extractor and we change the first layer to oh shit to combine boom and now we got all of the same stuff right so you would like oh where's my shadow at right just duplicate this layer and on the bottom one 
Let's just put Shadow Catcher. Let's solo this because you, now you see it's alone. And we can just set this to multiply. Multiply. You feel what I'm saying? And how you get your shadow to really look blurry now is if you just add a fast box blur. Right? And let's just bump this up some. Hit T. And let's just turn this down just a little bit just to make it fit in a little bit. So now we can name this shadow. Let's come up here and let's play with our stuff here. No Diddy. So first of all, let's uncheck on mult in both layers. Sorry. And on the white point for the top layer, which should be, let's just name this OGJ. Let's just change this to like 0 0.5, something cool like that, right? And as you can see, we got, uh, there is like some depth of feel going on here. So what you could do is on the same layer at a fast box blur, and you can keyframe it, kind of match the scene a little bit, gets around here. And you could keyframe it in, you know, all kind of stuff like that. You feel me? But once you get it in here, the main thing is to let it ma make it match the scene. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might even need things like metric colors and stuff like that. But if you let Blender do the job and you like light up your scene correctly, I mean, if you let Blender do the job and you use your uh, you use your planes correctly and you put your videos on the planes, you'll definitely. Uh, <clears throat> get some good uh results out of it you feel what i'm saying but that's really all i got for this tutorial today you feel me much love y'all uh, i'm gonna be back up in here so if you enjoyed this drop a like comment subscribe and i'll definitely be back with more maybe if you want something a little more in depth on this same topic i could do that you know I mean but yeah man love y'all niggas peace out